Good afternoon. Um, <laughs> this is a different venue, not my usual backdrop, as you may have guessed. I'm actually at the beach, so to turn around to the people I'm hanging out with over there. I'm actually standing behind the lifeguard station because it's better shadow, so I can hopefully see what's on the camera. Which also means I'm holding my phone, my phone freehand, so it might bounce around a bit. So, first of all, welcome to episode 800. Yes, new milestone. And the topic today I'm talking about is a new dating term I read about a couple of days ago called being treated like a houseplant. Yeah, not a pretty term. I'm going to explain what that means and also why you might be experiencing it and also what you can do about it. Those three things. So before we jump into the topic and, choose and explain it, let me introduce myself. Um, hi, Erica. Nice to see you in my broadcast. Um, my name, but, oh, by the way, this is Facebook Live in case you're wondering if you're watching on YouTube where it started. It was on Facebook Live first and I explained the links at the back end. So before I get into the topic at hand, let me choose myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am the best-selling author or the author of the best-selling book, I was getting that flipped. Author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women, that will transform your relationship experience if you're single or in a relationship. I'm also an inspirational speaker and a uh, relationship and love expert helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which inspires my work and informs my work with women, and also um, is really what inspired these talks over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And so today we're episode number 800, which is another one of these milestone things. I think I'm going for a thousand. It seems that way. Um, and again, this is, this is actually Will Rogers Park, Will Rogers State Beach, excuse me, where I am, in case you're wondering location-wise why I'm not in my usual venue, because I'm out having fun at a friend's birthday party. So there. So houseplant, what does that got to do with dating? It's not, you know, there's all these terms with ghosting and um, boomeranging, submarining, um, the other one. There's a few other terms. I've talked about a few of them before. So search my other broadcasts if you want to find the other terms. But this one's about called being treated like a houseplant. And the reality is it's not a new thing. It's just a new term for an old thing. If that makes sense. Being treated like a houseplant in this context is basically... I keep changing hands because the phone is not really stable. I didn't bring a tripod, so you're getting me in kind of a shaky format. <laughs> um, being treated like a houseplant in the dating... Per, um, languaging is basically being someone's second choice. That's the simplest way to put it. If you're being treated like a houseplant, it means that the person you're dating finds excuses to do other things. They still keep you in the loop. They're still interested in having you around. But the reality is they're looking somewhere else, that you're their second choice. You're their second preference. You're not their first choice. And this, hey, Jennifer, nice to see you. Well, thanks for the love. And the, the thumbs up. Thank you for all that. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and it's really a painful place to be. Now, the term's new, but the experience is not new. I'm sure you, you may have had the experience yourself where you weren't the person you were dating's first choice, you were the second one, and frankly, it was kind of like getting sloppy seconds, to say it nicely. Um, and that sucks, to be blunt. So that's what it is. Why it happens, oftentimes, is because you don't actually say no. What happens is, thank you, Jennifer, it's good to see you too. Appreciate it. Hi, Nancy. What, what is this? What? <laughs> this is um, what's about being treated like a houseplant. It's a, it's a dating term that basically means you're someone's second choice. And for most people who are in those situations, because they haven't claimed their space to say no until they find somebody who makes them their first choice, which is kind of the simplest answer. If you want to not be a house, treated like a houseplant in this terminology, then you want, to be, you want to be received and respected as someone's first choice, period. Simple enough. Okay. I'm done, I'm signing off. No, it's more, <laughs> it's more than that. Yeah, exactly, Nancy. No, never, ever, ever. The reality is for me in this work, and it's, I was on a friend of mine just now about this, is when it comes to dating, so many people still fall into the trap of looking for someone else to complete them. The whole Jerry Maguire thing, you complete me, that stuff. And the, it, the trap is that is you're basically becoming a victim to someone else's preferences. If they love you, you feel happy. If they don't love you, you feel sad you're reacting to what they do or don't do and that sucks to be blunt and so my invitation my recommendation my encouragement my demand <laughs> is to don't do that you know yes nancy i know you're you're up in you're not in portland now <laughs> yeah this is will rogers park state beach i'm actually with some friends for a friend's birthday party so i thought i'd do my broadcast whilst i'm here rather than go home and do it because it's like you know too much too much hassle i want to stay here and play so Exactly, Nancy. Do the inner work first. You're jumping ahead of me. Thank you. <laughs> so my encouragement to you is definitely do the inner work, meaning that you focus on what you want 
and you don't waver from that. And you also do the work to start loving yourself. I've been talking about this with a friend. It's like I've become more blatant about how self-love is one of my cornerstone teachings because it's what people don't do half the time. They're looking for someone else to make them feel good. And that's the trap people fall into. It's a mistake. It's an error in approach. It's a failed way of getting to relationship because you end up being treated less than you want to be. And frankly, if you're not loving yourself first, nobody's going to love you enough to make you feel whole. It may be a romantic gesture to say, oh, I love you so much you'll feel whole. But the truth is, they can only do so much. They can't do that much. You must love yourself first. And, and I mean, that's why I, made it, that's why I created my self-love um, guided meditation. Because it's so fundamental, and I teach it so many times, that we should make it a product so you can use it. So that's what I did. And it is a teaching point that's so, so um, yes, Nancy, nobody, no one can but you, exactly. And so that's the thing, is that you must, no, I'm saying, no, I'll say it that way. If you want to have an amazing relationship, start with the one with yourself. That's the simplest way to put it. And when you do that, you won't say no to people who want to treat you like a second class, second choice, the houseplant modality. And you'll actually be happier because you won't be settling for, lap, for, for uh, sloppy seconds. That kind of sums it up. It really is about choosing yourself first so you don't come second. And the thing is, if you wait for someone else to love you, you're actually loving yourself second because you're loving them first, which again is backwards. That's the codependency trap that I've been um, talking about a lot recently because it's becoming more prevalent in my conversations with clients and with people I come on conversation con uh, I cross paths with because this is the trap you fall into still, even in the new in the new millennium. <laughs> Codependency is still out there. So my calling, my passion, my work is helping people drop that game to stop playing codependently and to love themselves first. So when they choose a relationship, it's additive to who they are. It's really, there's a, there was a meme I posted yesterday, it was a joke actually, yesterday before, about the pessimist thinks the glass is half empty, the optimist thinks the glass is half full, the opportunist knows the glass can be, re, glass can be refilled. And this is the thing, I mean, I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but the truth is for a lot of us, we walk around thinking we're only half full, and we think someone else is going to complete us, that whole trap of being codependent. When you know you can actually turn around and fill yourself up, yourself up first, then any relationship has to be better than that, which means your relationship status goes up, your quality of choice goes up, your preferences massively increase, and you don't settle anymore. If you've been settling for less than you deserve, this is one of the cornerstones. You fix this one, you'll change everything. And additionally to that, when you learn how to love yourself more, you won't need a relationship as much. You actually turn up, learn how to love yourself and be autonomous. I feel like we have a big challenge right now is because a lot of people realize they, they want to be on their own and love themselves fully, but they don't know how. They think it's going to be somebody else's job. And when you love yourself first, when you treat yourself first, you appreciate yourself first, then you'll be in a place where you can have an amazing relationship with somebody else. It really is the inside job. It's the inside work. It's the primary focus. So that's my message to you. Um, I'm going to put some links in the comments. This is a short broadcast because I want to get back to the party. Um, again, over my shoulder, you can see all the people having fun over there. Um, and the beach, of course. I'm right, I say I'm right behind the lifeguard station because better lighting. And I can see the screen without squinting. <laughs> um, so that's basically it. This is... Part of my work, a massive part of my work, is helping my clients love themselves first. It's why I keep talking about it, because what I keep experiencing with my clients, they thrive when they love themselves, they attract better relationships, they love themselves more. It's what I'm doing for myself, it's what I do as well. So I'm gonna put some links in the comments later on when I get home, because I'm not doing it now, well, I probably won't do it now, but I will put myself up practice in the, in the comments, as well as my own book as well. And I'll put a link in the comments for a complimentary chat with me, because you might want to find out how I can help you get what you really want. So that is um that's my message today oh replays this is my facebook live i do every day by the way it's why i'm doing it now on the beach versus doing it normally in my studio so <laughs> this is um i do this every day and the replays you can find if you haven't seen my broadcast before are on my business page on facebook which is barry selby the author you can watch me live at 5 p.m pacific time every day on my personal page which is barry selby on facebook business page is the replays and then on my youtube channel please subscribe to it which is barry selby there's a playlist on there called messages from the masculine you can check them all out there so what is it oh you've been been there done that but to but but to learn but you learn yes exactly nancy thank you for that feedback by the way you and i are on the same page we understand this so i'm glad you you get it hopefully other people will get it too um so those so again three links in the comments my self-love practice conversation with me and my book and the links for replays i just told you where you can find the replays and uh that's about it I do invite you always when I do these talks to remind you to take care of yourself because that's a fundamental teaching. So, yes, yes. <laughs> um, 
loving yourself first is the key. However you do that, if you use my, my, my meditation practice, great. If you don't, that's fine too. But love yourself first. It's the way to get what you want. It's the way to be what you want. And it's the way to have what you want in all areas. So I think it is a have twice, whatever. Have a wonderful afternoon. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same channel. As always, please take care of yourself. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.